Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and in this video I'm going to be comparing several of the more premium and handcrafted whittling and wood carving knives that are currently on the market right now. Um, right here in front of me I have about $500 to $550 worth of different knives. Now word of note, all these knives right here will not be available in your general retail stores, major online stores like Amazon, or like big box stores like Rockler. So I'll have all the links where you can get them down uh, below. That way you can find them relatively easily. i get some of these out of the way here. Starting off, we're going to look at the Lee Ferguson knives. These are really nice, elegant, and simple knives. Uh, they come to you razor sharp. There's no need to sharpen them at all. Uh, this, the blade is made of high carbon tool steel with a Rockwell hardness of about 60. Uh, they have really nice and thin and narrow blades. They have a really nice uh, wood finish to them. Uh, the Hon it has Honduras rosewood handles which are uh, smooth and finished really really nicely. They, they feel very finished and refined. This is the best fit for a smaller hand. Uh, those with bigger hands may find it just a little bit too small but it is still a wonderful knife. Uh, these knives you will usually find them between $25 to $30. Uh, you can get them on Lee Ferguson's website or you can get them on his eBay uh, store which I'll have both of those linked down below. Let's look at the OCC tools next. Now these right here are simple but yet quality knives. They all come razor sharp right out of the packaging. Uh, so there's no need to sharpen them. Now they all have 01 tool steel with a Rockwell hardness of about 59. Uh, they have a nice narrow edge grind so it's ground back quite a bit. Uh, it allows you to cut through the wood really nicely. Um, it, has, it has okay finish to it. The handles are still kind of blocky. Um, but you can get different variants of the handles to have different shapes to them. Uh, they're, I find them to be a little bit more simplistic, but you know what? They get the job done. Uh, another great part of them, you can get them these knives anywhere between $23 to $35 depending on the style and the, the handle and the tool that you're going to be getting. So you have a good wide variety of them. Uh, places you can get them will be places like Treeline USA, Mountain Wood Carvers, The Woodcraft Shop, or many, many other ones. A bunch of people have these knives. Uh, it's a great, a great tool to get started in, uh, to started carving with, or upgrading the ones that you already currently have. Alright, put those up there. Alright, so let's look at some of the Drake knives here. Now these are beautifully crafted knives. Um, they all come razor sharp right out of the packaging, ready for use. Um, they just feel really good in the hands. They, and not only that, they just look really cool. The wood handles that you're going to get are going to be kind of inconsistent. Basically, they just give you different color uh, wood handles uh, depending on what you order. I find that to be kind of cool because then it gives me a nice variety. I get to see different styles of wood handles. They look really cool to me. Um, they all have 01 tool steel, which is at a Rockwell hardness of 58. Uh, some of the things I did notice on there, uh, they do have really thin blades, um, especially the detail knives. The detail knife blades are a little bit too thin on the tip sometimes, but the Gill spe Special, which is more of like a roughing knife, is a little bit thicker. So if you wanted a little bit more thicker blade, I'd probably go with the Gill Special. Um, I've accidentally bent the tip on both of my detail knives uh, just from regular use. Uh, you have to really be careful with them if you're using harder woods but still great knives. They have a ton of different blades available. Like I said I have just a few of them here. This one's the Gill Special. It's a regular detail knife. This is a sheep's foot detail knife and this is like their hook knife or spoon carving knife. Um, all great tools. You can get different handles on them as well. Like the Gill Special has its own one that kind of contours to the, the hand a little bit. These are their wider handles and they also sell another one that's like a narrow handle. 
I don't have any of those because I primarily like my wider handles personally. So I didn't buy any of those myself, but you have a couple options for handles that way. Prices for them are going to be between $35 and $45. Your regular detail knives are going to be about $35 and then your, your more special kind of knives are going to be about $45. Uh, another really cool thing about the Drake knives is that they have a lifetime warranty for manufacturing defects and satisfaction. You can get all that, those details on their website. And then moving on to Deepwood Ventures. These are beautiful knives. Uh, even with their basic handles, they look really, really cool. I like the way that um, I, I like the way that the the wood looks. And you have multiple options on there for a little bit more of a price if you want a more premium uh, wood handle. They all come razor sharp right out of the packaging. Um, and they all use W1 tool steel with a Rockwell hardness between 60 and 62. They do have a little bit of a thicker blade to them. They're just a little bit thicker. Uh, let's compare it to the Gill Special here. You can see that they just have a bit of a thicker blade, which... Some people will like because that, that creates a bit more of a rigid blade for more roughing uh, and kind of like applying more force to the blade without worrying about dinging the tip or anything like that. Now like I was saying, I love the wood finish on it. They look great. You can get different style wood handles, uh, some for a premium price. Uh, they look really cool, but the only thing I wasn't too terribly fond of was the shape. Of the actual handle itself on this from the side profile they look very similar to the the drake knives but they have a little bit of a thinner profile to it um which that can also can slightly alter how you're going to hold it like with the the drake knives i can palm it pretty nicely no matter how which way i hold it it's really comfortable to hold on to but this one i feel like you have to have this part flat to your hand to be more comfortable um, it feels really good if you put it up in your, just like your fingers. Um, so you might be holding onto the Deepwood Ventures knives just a little bit differently than some of your other knives if you um, are jumping from one to, to the other. The prices for these knives range between $24 to $50 plus. I say plus because you can get different style handles, uh, which will increase the price. So for base cost, it's going to be between $24 to $50. I uh, believe these two right here were $35 each. They have smaller, more basic knives for the $24 range, and then they have the bigger, almost, uh, I think the Sloyd knives are about uh, $50 to $52, somewhere around there. But great tools. I like them. All right, and finally, we're going to go over some Helvi knives. I'm pretty sure most everyone has heard about Helvi if you've been looking for some really, really nice whittling knives. Uh, these are wonderful knives. Beautifully crafted. I absolutely love the laminated handles. Um, they all come razor sharp right out of the packaging. No need to hone them. Ready to use. They use high carbon steel with a Rockwell hardness between 59 and 61. Now Helvi offers a bunch of different blade styles and handle styles to be uh, to pick from. Uh, these are all bird tail handles. I really like the way that they feel in my hand, so that's the reason why I have all these other ones. But they have a bunch of different ones you can choose from, so pick whichever one intrigues you the most or you know fits your hand the best. They also have a bunch of other different uh, blade styles, like these right here are detail knives. And these two are more uh, your kind of roughing knives. This is a flex, their flex knife, and then this is their regular knife. I believe they call it the flex knives um, as such because it's more flexible. You can use it for roughing, you can use it for regular whittling. It is a little bit more of a thicker blade, so there's no, it doesn't uh, bend so much, but the regular knives um, are a little bit thinner. And they have a little bit more play to them. Uh, so if you're going to be doing any, like, some roughing, their flex knives might be more of an ideal knife for you. Um, and they'll still let you do some more detailed work. Otherwise, their regular knives will do the job. Um, now you've probably been looking at these two. This, I got both of these with the same exact uh, blade, but the difference is the handle style. 
This is the regular whittling knife handle, which is about $45. And then this is their economy version of the same exact knife. Uh, and it is about $35. You're saving $10 with this economy style blade or with the economy style knife. The blade, like I said, is exactly the same blade, same contour, same steel, same everything from here up. But from here down, you get a different uh, wood. Um, some of the things I've noticed, the, the regular handles with the laminated wood is a little bit heavier than their economy uh, handles. These handles are quite lighter. You, can, you notice it definitely by picking them up side by side. Um, but still, great knives. Um, one of the other things that are cool about the Helvey knives is you can also get like their sheaths with it, which is pretty cool. So and that way it helps protect your your blade. Make sure you don't actually ding it up, especially if you're putting it in like a toolbox or anything like that. Now the sheaths are pretty cool themselves. When I originally saw them, I thought it was just a piece of leather. Um, but on the inside, you can see there's a little piece of wood inside of there for the blade to actually slip inside of. So it's got a little bit of a rigid part right up here to help protect the blade even more. Which is a great design, I like it. They're, uh, when I got them, they're $5 each uh, for the sheaths, so I think it's a pretty cost-effective way to protect your blades. Yeah, all these knives are great knives. I highly recommend any one of them. If you're a beginner or experienced, they're all great options to purchase and use. I don't have any problems with any one of them. While each one of them may not be perfect, they all fill the need for anyone, whether it be you need something a little bit more affordable, uh, or if you want something like a little bit more custom with these guys, or just like a different style altogether, if you need a thicker blade, you have a lot of different options for what's available on the market today. Um, I find these to be of better quality than your mass produced ones. Still great knives, the flex cut and beaver crafts are still great knives, especially for those just getting into wielding wood carving and want to get in more on a budget, but these more custom and uh, premium knives are, are quite a bit better and just feel better in the hands. Um, they might not be as easily available as some of the more mass produced ones, but you know what, they they actually out, they can outperform any of the cheaper ones. I have a bunch of other knife reviews on the channel, so if you're looking for something different, go ahead and check out my list of uh, knives I reviewed. I mean, I have plenty of other ones, like if you're looking for a, an all-around like pocket knife kind of deal uh, that you can use for whittling that's really cheap, like this Openel. You can get these for a really good price, or if you're looking for a more nicer uh, pocket knife for whittling, like the number 62 uh, pocket carver. Great knife all around. Uh, plenty of other knives on here that get reviewed as well. So check those out. Um, feel free to like and subscribe as well if you like the, the video. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you have yourself a great day.